Okay, let's understand the last of the factors which has an impact on the supply of goods. This is part three of factors affecting supply. And this is the government policy. Now, how does a government policy affect the supply of goods? Now, in the form of government policy, basically, there could be various measures which could be there. One is levy of taxes. Okay. Then there could be, let's say, restriction on exports and other matters. I've just taken two examples of government policy which may impact supply of goods. So let's say the government levies a higher rate of tax on a particular commodity. So let's say a supplier was manufacturing commodity X okay, and he was selling 10,000 kgs of this particular goods. Let's say his cost of production was 100 and his selling price was 150. Right? Now the government comes up and levies a tax. Now this tax could be anything. Okay? The government levies a tax of rupees 20. Now, in some cases, you can recover this from the consumer. So he can actually add this to the selling price and make it 170. But what if the consumer is not ready and willing to pay this 20? Then what will happen is that the selling price will remain at 150, whereas the cost of production, which was initially 100, is going to be added on to this 20, making it to 120. As the cost of production increased from 100 to 120, the profit Originally, how much was the profit? 150 was the selling price, 100 was the cost price, so profit was 50 rupees. But as the cost of production increased to 120, the profit will fall from 50 to 30, which is 150 minus 120. Decrease in profit or increase in cost of production because of levy of taxes is going to result in decrease in supply of goods. So the change in government policy levying an additional tax resulted in decrease in supply of goods. Right? Let's take the other one which is restriction on exports. So many a times because of certain reason you know the government may change the policy on exports. So let's take this very case itself where the supplier was manufacturing 10,000 kg which he was exporting. There are many industries in India which do significant amount of exports. Some being let's say for example textile, you know, even food, quite a few items are exported. Now the government policy comes in and says, well, you can't export more than 5000 kgs. Okay. And the producer feels that this excess 5,000 kgs which is left behind, I mean he was manufacturing a total of 10,000, the allowable exports are 5,000. So he's left with 5,000 kgs, right? So he has two options. He can either sell it in domestic market, namely India, Okay, but if the price differential is there, normally the price in case of exports is higher than domestic market. So if the price in domestic market is less, okay, or there is no demand of such product in domestic market, then the producer is going to stop producing 10,000 kgs and he will make only 5,000. So restriction on exports, which is a government policy, 
results in decrease in supply. Right? Need not necessarily be always that way. I mean, if there is this restriction is lifted, so a person who was originally exporting 5,000 kgs may start exporting 10,000 and he may increase the supply. So it depends what kind of a government policy is followed. 